What's up guys and welcome to the UK Meta Report. Uh, this is episode 20 so we've done this for about 5 months now. I uh, just want to thank everyone who has contributed and thank you guys for watching the videos. I uh, hope you do enjoy it, hope it does continue to be uh, something good and informative for you and for your local scene as well. So this week I am going through um, the week beginning the 5th of November and uh, we haven't had any new product yet in the UK so still with Colossal Warfare and uh, let's see what's happened so we have results from 10 locals this week Chaos Cars in Folkestone Comic Culture Lincoln uh, that was actually two in two from Comic Culture I believe this week uh, Dice Saloon in Brighton Excelsior Games in Bristol Game Night in Derby Goliath Games in Lincoln, Rewind Collectibles in Ashton Underline, The Dice Cup in Nottingham, The Game Shop in Aldershot, and Travelling Man in Leeds. Of course guys, if you are uh, in the area, or if you're a new player, and uh, you want to get into locals, then um, feel free to drop by at one of these, or if you are looking for locals, then drop a comment below, and I will be more than happy to find one for you. So as I said, no new product, so the legality is the same as last week, um, Ultimate Box is uh, legal, and uh, we don't have any updates on World Martial Arts Tournament yet, at this point it looks like it might be released after Set 5 is released in a couple of weeks though. So this week these are the top leaders, uh, we have 3 Xeno Maidens, 2 Herudagon, 1 Red Blue and 1 Yellow Blue. 2 Soul Striker, 2 Father Son Kamehameha, 1 Pan, 1 Goku Black, 1 Vegeta, and 1 Explosive Power Jiren. So the uh, Ultimate Box uh, Zeno is doing very well there. It's a perfectly solid deck, but um, I did not expect it to come in first place with uh, 3 entries. And uh, I, I believe. All three of them actually won their respective locals, so it wasn't just um, coming in uh, second or third place at larger locals, but uh, they they actually all won, and also two father sons as well. Um, that was the same person, um, but uh, congratulations there, and a Goku Black as well. So very unexpected decks winning this week. And um, yeah, it's great to see so much innovation, great to see so much creativity and uh, just diversity in the format. Um, of course, Herudagon is there, probably the strongest leader of the format, uh, the most popular, definitely, and the most successful so far. Um, but yeah, coming in second to Zeno. So this is the snapshot for this week. We had three Zeno, three Herudagon, three Soul Striker, two Father Son, two Pan, one Goku Black, one Vegeta, one Explosive Power Jiren, and one Baby. Um, this is quite similar to the previous graphic because I think the locals were all quite small this week. Uh, but, um, you know, it's good to see that locals are uh, still running uh, and you, you do get fluctuations uh, around the country and I'm sure that your locals are similar to this as well. Uh, but um, here we have no U7 Frieza, we have no U7 Gohan, and we only have one baby uh, and a couple of pans. So the, the more popular decks haven't really been uh, played too much this week. And uh, again, uh, the Zenos, Father Sons, and the Goku Blacks uh, with the new entries there. So this is what the UK uh, locals meta looks like this week in this format. Uh, after tallying everything up, it came to around 100, so there are no decimal points this week. Uh, Hooligan dropped slightly to 17%, Pan also to 11%, Baby again 9%, U7 Gohan is down to 8%, sorry that was green, that's incorrect. Soul Striker went up to 7% from 575 U7 Freezer, 6 Androids and Demigo down to 5 and Khalifa down to 4. Uh, the leaders that have won twice are at 2%, although Father Son is a new entry, um, so that's a 2% gain for Father Son. 
and then uh, for the 1% everything else which won just one time uh, during this format we have Goku Black being a new entry uh, Explosive Power Jiren being a new entry although Jiren did uh, appear in the snapshot before so uh, very diverse um, I'm, I'm not sure if you can even see the smaller ones I, I try to I try to um, make it look as uh, good as possible but it's quite hard when it's that small um, but yeah uh, the the top decks definitely shrinking in terms of representation uh, Soul Striker has uh, also overtaken U7 Freezer now so Soul Striker has been on a slight upwards trajectory in the past few weeks uh, but still only in fifth place at the moment. Hirudagan and Pan are the most popular and the uh, decks that have done the best, uh, both of them remaining in double digits. So that was the meta report for this week. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I have also set up a Facebook page, so uh, if you want to go over to that and uh, leave a like on that as well, um, I will be uh, linking various events around the country, um, especially larger events, so um, hopefully you guys will be more in the loop for uh, sort of large scale events, local events, because I know there, there have been some events which haven't been publicised very well, and I do want to uh, have that as a platform uh, that local stores can use so uh, if your locals want a bit of a push then please let me know I'll happily uh, put up any events that you guys will be running um, I was just doing other you know other fun stuff with Dragon Ball having some polls on there um, sharing various bits that I've seen in the community groups and yeah, so just uh, please leave a like on that and uh, remember to sub for more content and I will see you guys next time.